everyone, Christina here. As you can see from the title of this video, today I'm going to be showing you how to hand wash cloth menstrual pads. I demonstrated this um, using a pad that I own, and I just put some blue food dye on it um, so that I'm not showing actual blood because that's gross. So I poured a lot of dye on this pad. It's um, not meant to hold that much liquid. This is just a, a very light days pad but I still wanted to show you um, how much it can actually uh, work just by pre-rinsing or hand washing your pads. So I waited until it was completely dry just for the sake of this video, and I'm rinsing it in cold water, very cold, not hot, because hot will set the stains. So I'm rinsing it in the bathroom um, until the water runs mostly clear, and you can see a lot of that liquid is coming out. The reason I um, hand wash or pre-wash, I guess, the pads is because um, it just helps the stains to come out quicker and um, cleaner, I guess. This is an optional step. I know it's not practical for everybody um, who wants to or currently uses cloth pads, but I just I decided to do this video because I've been asked um, about staining on the pads that I sell in my Etsy shop, but um, as I said, this isn't a necessary step. If you're concerned with staining, I recommend doing this hand washing, but if you don't mind, you can just um, toss the pads, the used pads, in your laundry and launder them with the rest of your um, clothing as you normally would. So once the pad is um, rinsing, mostly clear, just squirt a little bit of soap. I'm using just hand soap. You could use um, hand soap or laundry detergent, whatever works for you, and just give it a gentle scrubbing. Now get a container or a bucket or something and fill that with cold water. You just want enough that um, the pad can be submerged completely. You don't need a ton. I'm just using a large container here just for um, the purposes of this video. Now dunk your pad in the cold water a couple times like I'm doing here. Give it a little swirl just to make sure it's nice and saturated. And let that sit. Once it's been sitting for a couple hours, um, you should notice that the container holding the pad has, uh, the water has changed a bit. Here it's blue because I've used blue food coloring, but obviously it will be different in real life. And you can see that the stain is gone. Still rinsing it completely um, because you can see a little bit of blue dye is coming out there. But for the most part, it is totally clean. And if any of you have ever experienced um, a mishap with food dye on your clothes, you know that it is quite difficult to get out sometimes. So this pre-rinsing really does help um, with getting blood out of the pads. I just rinsed it until it was uh, clear and you can see all the water there that's absorbed the staining. And this is what the pad looks like after it's been uh, hand washed or yeah, hand washed and then I just tossed it in the wash machine and it's all nice and clean. Looks brand new. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, uh, feel free to give it a thumbs up or comment below if you have any questions.